Thanks for joining me again today. I'm out and about in my local woods. This is what the Florida flat pine woods look like behind me here. Okay, and then over here, a little patch of uh, hog root over there, probably from a few weeks ago. They come in here and they tear it all up. And right here beside me, there's another larger patch here. Wild hogs, they do a lot of destruction. So they like to dig up the, this grass like this over here and eat the roots and things that are underneath it. Okay, uh, but that's not the real reason we're here. You guys clicked on this video to see a canteen cup set. And so over here hanging in the tree, I have it attached to my Czechoslovakian bread bag, but this is the M59 West German Brundisweer Hope I'm saying that right <laughs> to my German friends, but this is the canteen cup set that they had. So uh, I'm going to sit down and have a little uh, hot refreshment. It's kind of cool this morning. And have me a little snack and then probably head back to the house. Got a lot of things to do today, but let me get set up and we'll get started. Okay, so as I said before, this is the M59. West German Brundisweer um, canteen set. And we'll start with the outside. It's obviously, it's a green, olive drab green color painted over, over the whole thing. Even the leather strap here is. Okay, so has this unique system we'll get to here to hold it together. How I carried it out here was you undo this leather strap from the canteen, slip this through the loop on your equipment or you could slip it over your belt on your pants or equipment belt whatever you got and snap it back in and also it has one for in case you need more room to hold it you can snap it into the lower hole it looks like I need to put some um, leather oil on this to keep it from breaking anymore okay so then it's leather from this portion on then it turns into some sort of webbing which comes up to a clip. This clip would be used probably to hook to the old style bread bags with the D ring that was on it so it can hang off of it. Okay. <clears throat> or you could hook it to your pack or whatever. Um, then the webbing continues around the top of the cup and over to this system. Okay. So um, in here is a spring which holds pressure on this to keep it from coming apart. So I'm going to pull on this tab that they include. You can hear the spring. When you pull hard enough, it comes over that little locking horn there and the strap comes off. Okay. Then the next thing we have here, I'm going to pull off, see if I can get this to stay on the tree, is the actual canteen cup. Okay, it's made of aluminum. Um, it has a handle that folds out. There are six rivets here, but there are only four to actually hold it to the inside of the cup. Two extra ones that hold this spring bracket. You can hear how it, it springs into place. Let me do it again. Okay, so it helps hold that handle so it doesn't flop around on you. Once you fold it out, it stays. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? The cup holds uh, 2.5 cups in it all the way up to the brim or 600 milliliters okay um, also there's a date on it you can see here it says PSL 90 and PSL is the manufacturer of this system uh, Paul let's see I'm gonna let you read it I can't say the dude's last name but it's PSL Paul Schultz and company. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but Schultz, Schultz. That's what the PSL stands for. And of course, the 90 stands for the year it was manufactured. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty heavy duty cup. It's not flimsy at all or thin or cheap like some military surplus stuff. It's okay. So we're going to set this over here somehow, keep it from falling, maybe. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the canteen itself. 
It is also made of aluminum. Okay, uh, all aluminum, all your hands got a seam right down the side, both sides where they put it together. Okay, um, the cap is also aluminum. And you can see here that it has a date on it too, PSL 1990. It has a cap uh, retainer to keep you from losing your cap. It's made of leather. Okay. Um, let's see, let me get my notes out again. Sorry about that. Just make sure I tell you the right stuff. Okay, the the actual canteen holds three and a half cups or 800 milliliters is what its capacity is. So, you know, it's kind of a medium size. I've seen smaller, but this, you know, it's not the largest, but you know, it will do. Um, when I got this, it was very clean inside. Also, one other thing to mention is it has this rubber gasket in the cap, which if I was using this a lot, I would probably replace that. You can see it split there. Probably from where this grommet goes through or this retaining knob. The rubber split there. And also it kind of gives it a rubbery taste to the water a little bit. So um, I probably would replace that and put something else in there that's, if I was using this all the time. Okay. So let's set this here. stay there okay lastly it's this last component it's also aluminum it is bait it is technically the cup or the the canteen holder it's what the canteen slides inside of okay uh, it has the locking knob here for when we put the strap around it okay um, it was it has a little different date on it if you take the strap loose Right there where the screw holds it on, it says PSL 69. So I don't know if it's the strap that was made in 69 or this was also made in 69, but you can obviously take this screw out, and I've done it before. Take that off real easy and uh, put it together with something else. So I don't know if this is 90 and that's 69 or if they're both 69. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, some people like to use this as a food container. Uh, it was not originally designed to do that. It was only made to hold the actual canteen. And you can tell that because they put like this little indentation or, or a raised area, I'm sorry, in the bottom. So it kind of helps cushion. See where it's been riding on the bottom of the canteen there. Also, canteen is sit still. If you look here, there is a rubber, looks like a rubber seal around there. But its purpose is to keep the canteen from rattling. And you can see here where it is actually worn. The canteen has rattled around there so much that it has worn the, the rubber down. So this was not intentional, made intentionally for putting food in, but some people do. Um, I've heard, I've read where... Um, that when you put liquid in, sometimes because it was not intended for that, the, the, the liquid will leak out through these rivets out here on the outside. Okay, so mine actually rattles a little bit. So I put the candy. Let me move my hands, my, there's not a shadow. But you can see there that when I'm walking, it kind of rattles a little bit. And you can see the rubber gasket in there. Probably if I was able to get a new one of those, it would fix that. Or maybe I could pinch this on the sides a little bit to, to fix that or maybe slip something in there with the canteen. Okay. So, um, there was one other thing I was going to tell you. Oh, uh, let, me put it, let me put the kit back together. You fold the handle and it slips into this little bracket right there. I don't know how the soldiers were able to deal with this, but let me get it back together. This little piece here has got a, I don't know what it is about it, but, oh, it's got a piece of metal inside there, look. Right in there inside the hoop. See the little piece of tubing? 
when I'm walking and that's on the outside of that bread bag, it was just rattling, rattle, 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 rattle. So I had to take this tag in. Hopefully you can see that and tuck it underneath there to stop it. Now you can still hear the, the canteen rattling inside, but I think that's just a side effect. If I was able to, I'll, I'll, if I was going to carry this a lot, I would fix that, but it's not really that important to me. It's not one of the ones I carry all the time. Okay, so I think that's what I, oh, there was one more thing I wanted to tell you. The weight of this thing. Let me pick up my paper. The whole set empty weighs 21 ounces. And I forgot to write down the grams on that. But according to my scale in my kitchen, 21 ounces is what this weighs with no water in it. Okay, so, so now we'll go over here and um, now that we're done with this part, I'm going to make me a little bit of a hot chocolate and, and show you the kit in use. So inside my bread bag, I've got, get the strapping done here. I've got a West German Bundesweer cup that they probably used in like the mess hall area. Not probably not in the field, but it is marked. Let's see if I can get that on there. With the NATO number and it says Bundesweer on there, okay? I'm not sure if this cup, it says something 8 of 68 right there. I don't know if that's because if it was made in 68 or not, but it's kind of a cool plastic cup. Okay, so we're going to be using that with our hot chocolate. And then in here I also brought an Espix, so it's not a one that's marked army. It's a more modern one, but uh, we'll use that. Also, I brought out the silverware set from the West German Army. Uh, this was a mix set, but right there, just on that one right there, it says 1980 bun. Okay, and then down below here it says 63, and I think the other piece has got even a different date on it. The other two pieces, but it's kind of a mix set. I have. We'll use this today. So let's get this stove out here and get started. Okay, so while that's uh, warming up, brought my homemade hot chocolate mix. Uh, what makes it different is, you know, it's got the normal stuff, the sugar, the uh, cocoa and all that. But it has a uh, chocolate fudge uh, jello pudding mix in it. Okay, and also I put a little something special in there, just a, just a hint of cayenne pepper. So just enough so whenever you drink it, 
you just feel your your throat just warm up just a little bit. I mean, it's not hot at all. You just have that little bit of a warm sensation. So on a cold day, that feels pretty good. So it kind of mimics, I guess, uh, Mexican hot chocolate in a way. So uh, I'll put the recipe to that down in the description in case you're interested. But this is what we're going to be making today. So the knife opener, or the bottle opener is a 63. The knife is what we read before, that's an 80. And there goes an airplane. This one is a 61, the fork is a 61. And the spoon is actually a 77. So it's, a, it's like a uh, all different ones, it's like they just washed them all together in the same pot and then put together put them back together but we're going to use um, most of this I don't like it super sweet there's grabs and there's just a little bit left so in case it's not uh, strong enough I can add some okay so it looks like our water is is uh, hot enough you can see the bubbles in there. Okay, so let's get my glove here. And that's plenty hot enough for me for hot chocolate. I don't want it to scorch my lips. See if we can see all that chocolate goodness best I can with this tripod. <laughs> if you want a little bit different, oh, one more thing I forgot is in it. There's also instant coffee in here, so I put some instant coffee in there. I can smell it. It. Uh, so if you want the chocolate flavor and a little bit of a pick me up. That'll do it right there. <laughs> so let's uh, we're just gonna sit back and enjoy out here in the middle of God's wilderness. So that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, click subscribe on, the, on my picture. It comes up on the screen and follow me. I do a lot of military surplus type reviews, some camp cooking. I really like that. And also uh, even some uh, kayak bass fishing videos I shoot from my boat. If you like this kit, you can still find them on places like eBay and sites like that. Um, they still pop up on my feed on, on eBay when I'm searching military surplus mess kits and canteens. Also, look down in the description. There is going to be at least one uh, link down there to where I found the information about this kit. So check out those, those uh, links and those websites where I, that they are my source where I found the information about this. So thanks for watching today. And I hope you have a good one.